Neuron Sanver provides you not only with cutting-edge machine learning models that help you keep your machines healthy and your business growing, but also with its own machine health portal. Here you can find all your assets along with elaborate graphs, data and other critical information to assess your assets' health. Let me show you around. First, let us start at the dashboard, your homepage. From here, you can choose which machine you'd like to take a closer look at. All of them are listed here, but you can also filter them with Company, Project and Facility Filter tabs, along with a search bar. Under Company, you will usually see only yours, unless you are a large holding or Neuron Sonware partner with multiple companies under your management. Project Filter lets you select individual projects that are active in your company. For instance, if you are a global company that has manufacturing plants in different parts of the world, each with different sets of machines or tools. You can view them here, all under one roof. Next is the Facility tab, which allows you to choose between individual locations of the aforementioned companies or projects. For example, if you have multiple sites in one city and you want to clearly set them apart. And finally, you can also use the search bar located here. A keyword or machine name will suffice to find the specific asset. Since we have some machines listed out, you can immediately see if our model evaluated an alert, visible here. You can either click on the machine tab itself to check up on all the other events, or you can click straight on the alert button to list out just the alerts. Before we take a closer look at the alert itself, let me show you the events first. There are multiple types of events. For example, you can see when the machine was on or off, under maintenance or any other state. You can also add these events yourself, such as when the machine is under maintenance, if it's operating nominally or if you know that the machine is broken. This helps us to perfect the algorithm for your machine. You can, of course, filter these event types accordingly, and you can also look at the machine's history. Now for the alerts. Here you can see the time when the anomaly was detected and an alert was created. In the message part, you can see which placements have triggered the alert, so you know which part needs attention. Clicking on the three dots here, you can either check the sound itself or take a look at the graphs. Let's check the graphs first. Clicking either of those will take you to the time range where the anomaly occurred. You can also alter the time range to have a broader context. Now for the interesting part. Here you can see the anomaly and loudness graphs of all placements. Difference between loudness and anomaly is that the loudness graph, shown in green, shows you the intensity of sound that your machine produces. The higher the level, the relatively louder the machine is. Anomaly, shown in yellow, is the certainty of the model that the sound it evaluates is within or outside of its nominal values. If the certainty reaches a pressure threshold, an alert is triggered. More data to train the algorithm means more accurate predictions. Here on the graph you can see the exact time of the alert. Scrolling down, we can look at the individual placements to find which one is the culprit. You can click on any point of the graph to check the sound itself. You can also do that from the dashboard by clicking on the Check Sound button, as mentioned previously. This will display the data tab. Starting from the top again, we have time and date fields to scroll through the recordings. We can also set different time ranges, 1, 3 or 10 minutes. Now, simply clicking on the timeline will allow us to listen to the sound of our machine. Press play. And that's the sound of the machine. You can also choose between waveform or spectrogram visualization. Or download the sound file to analyze it in software of your choosing. Let's consider this anomaly resolved, as we listen to the sound and our diagnostician consulted with us that this is normal operation. We can do that in the Events tab. Let us enter some details.
and we can take a look at the rest of the tabs. Within the config tab, you can find all sorts of information about the machine itself, provided you share that information with us. For example, model of the machine, manufacturer or modes of operation. Below, you can find tick boxes regarding notifications. You can choose to receive notifications via SMS, email, or to not receive them at all. Depending on your service package, alerts reviewed by a professional diagnostician will be sent to you regardless. You can also set a time delay for alerting. This is useful when your machine undergoes maintenance and you don't want to trigger an anomaly. Finally, you can upload a picture or schematic of the machine to help us and yourself to see where the placements are located when we communicate with you. Last part of our walkthrough is the Help Desk tab, where you can find tutorials and manuals detailing all aspects of Neuron Soundware technology, including the one you're seeing now. And that's it. Thank you for watching and choosing Neuron Soundware as your partner in keeping your machines healthy and your business growing. Thank <laughs> you.